Hey guys, this is Amber Gunn, Amber Gunn Real Estate, and I just wanted to tell y'all a little story about a listing presentation I had this morning. I drove out to a client's house in Hutto, and they were thinking about selling and buying, and they kind of wanted to have me work the numbers backwards to see if it was going to be a good plan and worth their time and their investment, because they really felt like they were kind of outgrowing the space they were in. So he had already told me they owed about $74.75 on the house. I pulled comparables and on the worst day, I really think they could get to $25. So when we backed out the $75 that they owed and about 7.5% in selling costs, we came out to a little under $139,000. The new houses that they were looking for were about $340 to $350. And if they took that down payment of the $140, put it into the new house at 340 to 350, they'd have a loan of about 200 to 210, making their mortgage payment around 1600 to $1,800 a month. So in my mind, I, I'm like, I, I gotta ask the one question, what are y'all paying right now for your mortgage? They said 875 and I said, oh, I said, you're gonna more than double it just to get into this house it's kind of more this shiny object. It's got more sparkles and glitter and is bigger and all that good stuff. When they could stay in the same house and pay $875 and pay it off in seven years. Uh, I told him, I said, man, do you want to know what I would do? I said, I would keep the house. I would keep the house and I would pay it off. They talked about doubling their payments to, since clearly they can afford to double their payments. But I asked them, I said, well, where are you in the baby steps with Dave Ramsey? And they said, well, we were following it really carefully and now we've been a little bit lax. We've got eleven to $12,000 we need to pay off on the car and that's our only debt. And I said, okay, here's the plan. Pay off the car, get that debt, be debt free and have it gone off your books. Then work on paying off your house, which you could probably do in about five years. Then it's paid off, you rent it you got mailbox money coming in, and then you decide what house you wanna buy. By that time, the kids will almost be graduated out of high school, and you guys can start planning your empty nester life. And I guess I just wanted to kind of tell this story that sometimes it's not all about right now and what looks more appealing to impress your neighbors, your friends, or even yourself. But I think they really appreciated that financial wisdom and doing what's gonna be best for their family long-term. And uh, they said, you know, all we know is that you are our person. If we sell, if we know anybody that needs to buy or sell, we're gonna have them call Amber Gun. So if you guys are looking for some truth in your life, I'll shoot it to you, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Thanks so much.